Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here with National Weather Service San Diego office. Guess what? Another heat wave is expected coming up this week into the weekend. Let's talk about it. First, let's talk about the most recent heat wave, the past two weeks. What you see labeled here is the average temperature and then ranked. So all those number ones are the hottest ever recorded for early to mid July average temperature, nighttime, daytime together. When you look at just maximum temperature in the afternoon, you can see here it was also number one in all those locations, including our deserts of Southern California. So early to mid-July ranks as number one for heat wave at that same period. Let's take a look at some of the lightning. We had lightning across the area, even over the ocean, above the marine, cold, stable air. This was July 13th through early morning on the 14th. Then we had some thunderstorms also over the interior mountains and deserts. The lightning peaked for our area as it shifted east on July 14th, that was on Sunday, and even brought some storms and flash flooding into Palm Desert. These are total lightning strikes, so the purple is cloud to cloud, and underneath that is the cloud to ground lightning, the most dangerous. When we go into July 15th, the area shrunk, but it was confined to our mountain, uh, the spine of our mountains, as we call it, as shown here. Precipitation was significant in those small thunderstorm areas. In fact, there was a location up near Big Bear Lake, south of Sugarloaf, almost two inches. Same with 29 palms, as shown here. And even in Palm Desert, the Coachella Valley, that one large thunderstorm that produced hail and a lot of lightning produced half inch to an inch of rain in a very short time. Speaking of short time, the rain over Mount Laguna was almost in 90 minutes only, two inches of rain as shown here. So these thunderstorms were small uh, as they typically are, but they did hit a few of the available rain gauges. So the impact was large if you were in that area of the thunderstorm. Let's take a look what's going to happen. Upper level ridge of high pressure, warm air sinking, pressing down on top of the already hot, dry desert conditions after that recent record two-week heat wave. It's going to build. So keep your eye on the upper level ridge predicted to start increasing over the next 24 to 48 hours. By the time we get into July 18th, 19th, not only does it increase and expand north, it also moves west over California. By the time we get into the weekend, it's right over California, Nevada, and western Arizona. So right on top of us. So expanding hot conditions, especially inland areas. Here's an example of what we expect for Friday. Temperatures getting into the one teens. Uh, for the Coachella Valley and Borrego area and getting over 100 for the Inland Empire. Now, as we go into the important weekend where people are outdoors and more activities going on, we even see 90s getting into our Inland Valleys, 90s. Now, the heat risk uh, is going to expand as these temperatures warm. So here's an example on Saturday with widespread, moderate, and spotty, the red, major, all over the region. So in other words, um, there's the potential for more heat alerts being issued for temperatures being unusually hot even for July, so above long-term averages. The fuel and the vegetation has dried out. With the recent record heat wave, we saw fuel moisture get all the way down, all the way down to the red there, record levels. Now it's recovered recently because we've got more water vapor more humidity, more mugginess in the air with the recent monsoon moisture. And it looks like that monsoon moisture is going to linger around for isolated thunderstorms through this week into the weekend. The outlook says the same. Beyond this weekend, warmer than average temperatures, hotter than average for inland areas. The monsoon remains somewhat suppressed, and but it keeps it confined in the deep southwest, as shown here. It's having a little trouble moving further north because that's right where the upper level ridge of high pressure is located. Where can you find heat risk? 
This is our web page here for heat risk information, which is related to our advisories and warnings that we issue. Other resources are indicated here for your use. Be safe with the upcoming heat wave uh, and always keep in mind the threat for thunderstorms as we now are in the monsoon season if you're in the backcountry.